If you're gay, try to be gayer. If you're already gayer, try to be the gayest. And the gayer and the gayer and the greatest and the greatest and the gay, 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 gay. This sounds very gay. Here we go again. Yet another famous Hollywood personality just pandering to the rainbow community. This time it's Melissa McCarthy, who is straight. And it's a damn shame because she has done some funny stuff in the past. But this ain't it. Now let's break this down real quick. So her song went like this. If you're gay, try to be gayer. So we all know what gay is. A man who likes to. Another man, right? So uh, according to her song, if you're a man who likes to. Another man to try to them harder. I don't know. I don't understand what she's trying to say. And I don't think I want to know. Anyway, welcome back. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Real quick, Clown World Weekend Update. Let's get right into it. Now, if you're wondering what we're looking at on the screen here, now, according to the left, this is the modern day woman. Now, this person's photo was captioned with feeling very pretty today. You, the pretty one. You ever hear the expression, you got a face only a mother can love? That don't apply to you. You are uglier than the devil's soul itself. All right, next up we have a Major League Baseball player. So this guy is a professional athlete, plays for the New York Mets. And recently we've seen all kinds of controversy surrounding Major League sports in the pride community. Just a few months ago, it was hockey with the NHL teams where they're trying to force them to wear the rainbow colored patches on their jerseys. Now it's happening with a bunch of baseball teams in the major leagues. So this guy decides to come out and make this very bizarre video. Tell me this video doesn't give you hostage taker vibes. Roll the film. Pride night and pride month is just a really um, important and fun time for me personally. Um, I think pride night is really fun and festive and I love celebrating our LGBTQ plus community. Um, it's a community that I have a soft spot in my heart for and I'll always support. I didn't know you were gay. All right, next up. So we know that these progressive Gen Zers get triggered over literally everything. Well, this young lady, and I'm not trying to be rude or disrespectful, but at this channel, we call balls of strikes. So this young lady sees a sign at a car transmission shop, and she gets very, very upset. Now, I think most of us probably know what they used to call car transmissions back in the day, right? Roll it. Pardon my shaking. I am so f***ing angry right now. There is an automotive shop that has this on their sign right now. Yeah, take it in. When I called them, I was polite and I let them know, hey, you have a slur on your sign and it is used against a marginalized community that is actively being attacked right now. They acknowledged that they know it's a slur, continued to make jokes, and then hung up on me. And that is exactly why these people are angry and depressed and miserable all the time. They don't find humor in anything. I often say in these videos that laughter is the best medicine. Well, they laugh at nothing. And it shows. I mean, that sign was funny. Anyway, next up. So here we have a trans woman, so a biological male. And uh, this person accuses a little child of committing a hate crime against them? Roll it. I got transphobically hate crimed by a four-year-old at work. I work as a waitress at the moment. Yes, dreams do come true. Um, and I, you know, dress like this, dress like myself, you know, present as she, her, feminine, female at work. All the colleagues know my tea. And, you know, the customers will always she, her, me, and it's all good and hunky-dory and wonderful, no palavas whatsoever. This is the, what I've been wearing today at work, you know, preppy chic, slit in the skirt, bit of leg, a little bit of a 
but not too much of one. I was serving this family, a mother, two young daughters, put the drinks down on the table, and this little girl said to her mum, why is he wearing a skirt? A big, broad man, hairy, big shoulders, big enough to be a rugby player. And I was like, huh? Just kidding. But the little girl did say, why is he wearing a skirt? The rest was just my gender dysphoria in my mind. That was triggered when she said that. So I put the drinks down and I was like, bye. So I wasn't upset or anything. I was just a bit like surprised, taken aback. It hadn't happened and I've worked there since October. It all kind of redeemed itself though, because while I was kind of questioning myself then, an old man came in and, you know, was this close to my face and then winked at me. So I felt validated again. You know how I'm good at picking up energies? Well, you're shooting off a slightly empty vibe right now. What's going on? All right, next up we have the bathroom debate again. This is a very easy problem to solve. Very easy. Anyway, it says trans people plus public bathrooms. You are not entitled. I think this is one of those TikToks where they stitch two videos together. Roll the film, please. Let's talk about trans people using public bathrooms from a trans woman's perspective. Hi, Bestie. Um, I think as a fellow trans woman, you would agree that the world is not made for us. And I think you've made your opinion very clear that trans individuals can make other people uncomfortable. I would agree with that. But here's where you and I differ. I don't care. I don't exist to make the cis world comfortable. I'm here to change this world. I'm here to live my life the way I want to, to make the next generation of trans people make their life a little bit easier. So while you want to limit yourself and you want to appease the world, I'll be out there living my life and change it. So you have a great day. Love you. Bye. Man, you are one twisted f All right, guys, real quick before we go any further, we don't have any sponsors for today's video. If you'd like to sponsor the next video and help support the channel, there is a PayPal link in the description box below, and I will say your full name as a sponsor of said video unless stated otherwise by you. Also, we finally released our first t-shirt, Teach ABCs, not LGBT. So, great way to support the channel, let people know you're on the right side of history, and you get a comfy t-shirt out of the deal. So, a link to that t-shirt will be in the description box below as well. And if you're wondering what we're looking at on the screen here, it's just typical progressive Gen Z angry. Like I said earlier, no humor in anything. He looks like a fucking loser. All right, so next up, this guy has filed his teeth to make himself look like a vampire or something, I guess, and he claims to have PMS cramps once a month. Roll the film, please. Hey, anonymous coward on the internet whose Dunning-Kruger is in a fistfight with their cognitive dissonance over which makes them a bigger clown shoe. The reason that I have cramps is because the smooth muscle tissue lining of my abdominal cavity is affected by the monthly periodic uptake, aka period, of my hormones. You are talking out of your ass, and I have science to back me up. I have the exact same smooth muscle tissue that every other person on the planet has too. And that is the primary muscle group that cramps during a period. The amount of misinformation around people thinking that it's just the uterus that does all the cramping. No, it doesn't. What the f*** are you talking about, man? All right, guys, we're going to be wrapping it up on this one because I simply can't take anymore. I just can't. And I'm fairly certain you guys can't either. We've all been infected with way too much brain aids for one day. So I'm going to be wrapping it up with, of course, everybody's least favorite former vice president, Joe Biden. But we also have his pal, John Fetterman, Congressman Fetterman out of Pennsylvania. Now, Fetterman is here in some kind of congressional hearing, gives a very interesting speech. Then I'm going to play a speech that Fetterman gave when he was standing right next to former vice president, Joe Biden. And then Joe Biden 
recently said something very, very bizarre that I will play after those two other clips. So this is the state of our political class. Anyway, things are clearly getting crazy out there, guys. So please take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. Till next time. Love you guys. Peace. Roll the film. Please. Earlier today, some uh, com some comments about uh, the uh, tragic uh, accident in uh, 995. And if you want to make any comments with respect to that, feel feel free. You're recognized. Uh, no, I. I, I uh, would, would, would just um, really like to, you know, the 95, 95, 95, you know, um, you know, obviously that, you know, you're pretty much preoccupied with, with 95, and I, know, I certainly am too, and we know it's a major uh, eatery, not just for, for Pennsylvania, but for the East, the East Coast. And a lot of Pennsylvanians are worried that the delays and repairs bring to its standstill deal. Are you stupid or something? A few moments later. And now I'm standing next to the president again, next to a, a collapsed bridge here. And he is here to commit to work with the, the governor and the, the, the delegation to make sure that we get this fixed quick fast as well too this is a president that is committed to infrastructure yeah and then on top of that uh, the the jewel uh kind of a uh, uh, law of the infraction inf 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 uh, bill that is going to make sure that there's going to be bridges all across like this all across the america getting rebuilt you must have got manure for your brains you for brains meanwhile all right God save the Queen, man. You were literally too stupid to insult. And you ain't black.